in this lecture we are going to learn how to uh, use video playback feature all right in our viewphoria project so th in this video we are going to uh, implement our own video player you uh, in augmented reality using viewphoria and unity after this video you would learn how to uh, use your videos in your games all right in your viewphoria applications now in this video i'm going to show you uh, there are actually two ways to uh, means add the video playback functionalities such as play pause and stop all right but there's another way that is the non coding way all right i'm going to show you the non coding way that is to use the uh, given on click functions means uh, ready made on click functions give, uh, given in unity all right even i'm going to show you how how to play the video whenever marker is found and stop it whenever marker is lost all right this video is going to be the uh, real is going to be really simple video so follow along all right now first of all delete the main camera after deleting it go to viewphoria engine uh, add ar camera then again right click viewphoria engine and then add image target all right in the image target select uh, from database then select the database and the image target all right this is the basic process that we follow along all right and i am using the previous project only so i need uh, i haven't created any sort of new license or any sort of new database so i am using the same marker and all those things but in different scenes all right now uh, here you can see here is a script default observer event handler in here there you can see tracked or extended track click on track all right then what you have to do is click on image target add a plane all right go to 3d object add a plane all right here you can see a plane is added now we have to reposition it uh move it upwards a bit that is in the y axis then resize it all right so that it can fit the marker all right you can even create your ar video playback like ar video application or you can say ar video player after watching this video all right you can like get all the videos from the uh, file explorer then show it in here all right you can create your own application with it but in augmented reality all right now let's name the plane to video playback or let's a player all right now in here after that go to ins uh, in the inspector panel only search for video all right click on add component then search for video and here will get a comp here you will get a component called video player all right now i have already i i already have a video imported all right i already have a video imported in my uh, assets so i am simply uh, what you have to do is you already know how to import it right because you just simply have to download the video and just import it it is as simple as that now you have to drag and drop the video inside of the video clip parameter all right and voila this is the thing you have to do all right now another thing is that whenever you play all right whenever you play this all right the video will be inverted all right now let me show you what are the problems that we will be facing now so as you can see in here all right as you can see in here the problem with the video is all right it is currently playing all right it is currently playing just wait the video is currently playing and it is inverted also all right you might not be able to hear the audio but the audio is also playing in the background all right so this is the problem we are facing currently let's let's fix it all right let's fix it see the very first thing all right the very first thing you have to do is to invert this all right invert means rotate this in the y axis rotate this whole plane in the y axis so that we get the video straight all right now after this we will be getting the video straight another thing all right another thing is that click on the plane all right in here the video option there is an option called play on awake what does this mean this means whenever you are uh, like whenever the application is starting it will start playing the video all right this is what it means now uncheck it all right uncheck it now uh, all the problems that we we were facing uh, is fixed now 
So let's implement the features that I told. Now here you can see here are two options on target found and on target lost, right? What we have to do is in here, uh, click on on target found, click in it, all right. And then here you can see this is the video, right? This is the video. Now drag and drop it in here. All right, drag and drop this video in here. Now uh, I for I guess I forgot to change the name. So name it video player. All right, name it video player. Now what I did, uh, let me show you the process again. All right, click on image target. Here are two options: on target found, on target lost. These are called events. All right. These events call some sort of function. All right. So, uh, these type of events are also av available in UI buttons. Also, I'm also going to show you how to create play pause button in UI. All right. So don't worry. Now, what you have to do is click on this plus icon in on target found. Then uh, drag and drop your video player inside this particular field. Then here you can see here's another uh, here's a drop down that no function written in here all right in here what we have to do go to the last and you would find an option called video player all right now in here what you have to do uh, here are multiple options available from these option you have to click on means call the play function all right what will happen whenever all right whenever you try to play the video all right, oh, sorry, oh, whenever you, uh, whenever the marker is found, all right, whenever the marker is found, it will start playing the video. All right, another thing, all right, another thing is that I want also to integrate whenever, all right, whenever the marker is lost, the video should pause or stop, all right. So for my case, I would like to stop it. So again, uh, in here's an, uh, another event parameter that is on target lost. Again, do the same thing drag and drop the video in here call a particular function inside the video player i will be calling stop function all right so yeah this is how we basically create our own video playback features all right now this is the basically uh, this is basically uh, if you want only to use viewphoria to control the video playbacks all right like whenever the marker is found you want uh, you want to start the video and whenever the marker is lost you want to stop the video all right so let's try so as you can see in here all right here uh, the marker is found and the video is playing all right i'm not sure you are able to hear the audio or not but you can see the video is playing now if i remove it all right now if i remove it all right uh, the video has stopped right you are not able to see anything now if i again all right if i again uh, put the marker you can say the video is starting all over right from uh, from the start the video is starting from the start all right so yeah we successfully created our uh, video playback features all right we successfully created our video playback in viewphoria now it is our time to do the same thing using buttons all right that is to implement the play, pause and stop functionality using button. So it is pretty simple. All right. It is not that complicated. What you have to do is see, I'm not going to remove these two functions because I think these are good. All right. Because whenever uh, I want key, whenever the marker is found, it, uh, the video should automatically start. And whenever the marker is lost, the video should automatically stop. All right. Or you can, what you can do is uh, you can uh, like make it pause. All right just make it pause let me change it to pause all right so whenever the marker is lost the video will pause and whenever the marker is again found after being paused the video will play from the point where it has been paused all right so it is it so that's how we implement uh, video playbacks in viewphoria if you want to do the same thing with uh, markers like marker uh, lost or marker found all right now we'll be doing the same thing using uh, UI canvas in Viewphoria. All right. So now as we have successfully created our video playback, now it is our high time to implement some particular buttons for it. All right. So how do we do that? The very first thing, click on image target. 
um, sorry yeah click on image target then go to UI all right and click on canvas all right so click on canvas then in the canvas here you can see canvas scalar here it is written constant pixel size changed into scale with screen size it will help uh, help the UI to be more responsive all right so yeah let me make it first uh, let me go to the 2d mode for designing the ui all right now as i'm 2d mode as i'm in 2d mode now i have to implement the buttons it is fairly simple just click on ui then i would uh, like to implement text text mesh pro buttons all right so i would click on button text mesh pro and it has been imported all right the very first button that i have to create is the play button all right this is the play button that i want to create now I have to anchor this button also. All right. So how would I do so? So simply click in here. All right. Uh, you can see this rec transform option. Click in here and press Alt key. After that, click on the this last uh, the, this last one. All right. Click on this last one. Now uh, I also have to uh, change the text inside it. All right. So that it uh, resembles play button. All right, now let's make it bold. Now I, I uh, see I would be duplicating this button. All right, so that it becomes more easier for me. Now, yeah. Now let me change it to pause. All right, now let's change the text of it to that is to pause. All right, now again the same thing duplicate it let's name it stop let's change the name to stop and also make it bold oh uh, all right i i have already made it bold now again go to rect transform alt then the right side see our button is anchored all right in a great way now what we have to do is we have to implement the functionalities. So the very first functionality I am going to implement is the play button functionality. So click on the play button, go to uh, go below, or right, go below, like in the in the last, and here we'll find an option called button option, uh, or you can say button component. In here, all right, in here there is an option called on click. All right, so simply click on the plus button. It's 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 similar to the image target on target found. All right, it is similar to that. Now again, drag and drop the video player object inside. All right, drag and drop the video player object inside the play button. Then select video player and then click on play. All right. Again, do the same thing. All right, do the same thing with the other button, but uh, choose different uh, set of function based on the uh, function functionality you want all right so there is the pause button so i'm going to use the pause function and there's the stop button so i'm going to use the stop function all right cool now let's let's test it out by playing it all right so guys just see what is happening in here all right so whenever I, you can see the video has started playing all right you might heard uh, some sort of sound maybe i'm not sure all right now let's let's pause the video all right see the video is paused now the video is paused now let's play it again the video is playing all right now let's pause it the video is paused now if you want to stop it the video has stopped now if we want to play it the video has started playing so all the functionalities that we implemented is working perfectly fine all right